Hello, happy Friday. Um, I just wanted to, like last week we had our theme loving we, this week now has come on to loving us. Now what does loving us really look like? It is about having you as a couple but within the family, your kids included. And what we do, sometimes that, you know, as a family, we can, as parents, kind of wish our kids would go to school or we can't wait for them to get uh, back on, you know, from holidays and go back to school. And I take that as, as, that we take the responsibility of our kids' lives on us. So that's what I, that's what I want to talk about today, is the fact that we take the responsibility of our children. And in that way, it then looks like something like this. It's my responsibility to get Johnny here from babyhood to adulthood. So therefore, Johnny has to do this, he has to do as I say, do as I do, he has to obey and everything should be all, all right. And if he fails, well that just makes me look like a bad mum and we don't want that. So when that happens, we, when we take the responsibility, we're, in the, we're the ones with power and then it then becomes us, so our discipline is about us. You disobeyed mum, you disobeyed dad. And then it's not giving accountability or teaching our kids the accountability for their own lives. So I'm suggesting, how about we give the responsibility of our kids' lives back to them? So what does that look like? Well, it takes the pressure off you because now your discipline would be instead of you disobeyed mum or dad, it's about, well, I, mum has asked you to set the table. You didn't do it? Okay, that choice was yours. You decided to choose, you decided or chose not to obey mum. So here's the consequences. So we're then always talking about choices and consequences. So if they got in trouble because you asked them to do something and they didn't do it, instead of saying you disobeyed mum, it's like you made a, the wrong choice. So if you want a different outcome, then you have to make a better choice. So it's so parenting then becomes about not about you know your responsibility, it's about teaching our kids how to make good decisions and choices and then to accept the consequences of those choices then it's not about you it's about them making the right choices but we've got to do it consistently and it's about age appropriateness so you you know your 2 to 3 you know 4 year old would be you know you didn't eat your veggies okay there is a consequence you get no dessert you chose not to do that then this is what happens. If you want dessert, you make a better choice and eat your veggies. So it's not, see it's a different way, just a switch in wording then makes the onus is that they've got control, they've got some control because all they have to do is make a better choice. And your parenting becomes so much easier because now it's not about you. It's about them and teaching them about choices and the consequences of those choices. And we do it at age appropriate. So guys, I hope that that um, helps a bit. And it certainly helps a bit when you get up to teenage, you know, uh, teenage levels and they have to choose things like, you know, drug and alcohol or smoking or things like this. If you say to them, you're not allowed to do it, as in, it's my responsibility, don't you do it, then it's the very thing that they want to do. So if as parents you say, you don't do this, it's the very thing that 
they want to do. But if you sort of say, listen, I don't care if you smoke. It is nothing to do with me. All right? It is your choice and here's the consequences of your choice. And you give them the reason why. It's not good for you, it's not whatever. Or it could be about going out with boys and the whole and the whole issue of that way. It's about being responsible for their own schooling. You know, we have kids that wag school all the time. It's like, hey, schooling is your responsibility. All right? Not mine, I've done my schooling. Nothing to do with me but it has everything to do with you. Do you want to go to uni? Do you want to do this? Then, do you want to get into a good trade or whatever? Then you have to, it's your responsibility, it's your life, it's your choice and decision. And then we have to deal with that appropriately um, by sort of saying, okay, well, if you choose not to do your homework and not to go to school, um, that's okay, but I'm not supporting you. You have to go out and get a job and all that sort of stuff when they're age appropriate. Do you see what I mean? So it becomes not you hounding your kids all the time about doing their homework, about you know this or that. It's about putting the responsibility back to them and, and giving them a good reason why they should choose to, to make their lives better. So that's just one way. Um, one way that, and an important way that you can just change your wording um, to make it about them. So you're giving the responsibility for their lives back to them at age appropriate. So I hope this has been a help. Um, stay tuned for, for more um, parenting um, tips, parenting uh, uh, concepts, <laughs> as it will. And uh, we'll see you again the same time, 12.30 to, uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Um, and yeah, so have a great Friday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.